So if you have a furnace that's leaking water, I thought I'd go over some of the causes and fixes of why it would be leaking and how you go about fixing it. And I'm gonna put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But why does a furnace leak water? Well, most furnaces have what is called an A-coil and it's located at the bottom and sometimes the top of the furnace. And this is part of the air conditioning system so that the house can cool inside of the summer. And you'll have an outside condenser and you'll have an inside coil inside the house. And quite often they're located in the furnace so they can use the furnace blower motor and the vents and blow cold air into the house. And these types of systems, they're called split systems. So they'll have an outside condenser and they'll have an inside A coil. And it'll be located either on the top or the bottom of the furnace. And the reason they leak is because like all air conditioners, when it gets humid out, they pull moisture from the air. So condensation will build up on this A coil and it'll come down and it'll leak. Now this is normal. This, that's nothing wrong with this thing is building up condensation. All air conditioners do this. But there's a drain line that takes care of the water. And you can see in this image, uh, right here at the bottom, all the condensation will drain down and it'll drip down and it'll come into this bottom pan and it'll come out through this drain tube right here. Here's another picture right here. You can see right here on the bottom, this person is installing this uh, A-coil and right here at the bottom will be plugs where he can hook up either PVC or some kind of drain line so that the water can drain away. So the thing that happens is when, when a furnace starts to leak, something happened with this drain line and it got, became plugged up or broke or something, something inside this drain line that's supposed to be draining outside is causing the issue. So here's another image of a drain line it's coming down, it's venting out right here. There's many ways that these can be installed and so there's no set way. Right here even they have a pump that's pumping it up. This is likely because it's inside of a basement. So if you have this type of system what it does is it comes down as soon as this fills up the little float will trip on this pump and then it'll pump it up outside. So there's different ways that a drain line can be run. There's no set way, but basically it's just draining water. So when you're having this problem, you need to go examine the furnace and see why it may be leaking water. And so, and so the first thing to do that if you do have this problem is to locate the A-coil and locate this drain line right here and, and see if it's just partially plugged up. It might not be hugely plugged up, but it might be really plugged up good and you might have to really get into it. One thing to mention is that quite often at the bottom of these, uh, of the A-coil, that pan, this pan down here, if they get debris built up inside of them, then that'll cause it to plug up. And, and if it is plugging up because of that, then you might have to clean out or run some water through this A-coil, which is a good idea to clean this A-coil anyway, which is running water. You don't want to bend the fins, but you, you flush it out and get all this gunk that might be inside the bottom of this pan. There might not be, it might just be clogged up because of algae or something like that. Algae likes to grow in these things. And you can use Clorox to help keep the algae down. But basically the first thing you do is go locate the drain line and then to try to figure out why or where it's plugged up at. And you could take the bottom or the top off the furnace to look at the A-coil itself and look at this drain pan that's down here and see how plugged up it is. And if the, and if the hole coming out for the drain is plugged up, and things like this. Quite commonly, HVAC techs will use a shop vac so that you could suck all this gunk out of the bottom. You could clean this up and then you could suck the gunk out. And you can, you can also use a shop vac too to like help sometimes pull gunk out of the lines. Um, even though that sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it's too clogged up. You might have to use something like a, like a long piece of wire to reach in and push out any gunk that's possibly in there. In some cases, you might just have to go ahead and just take apart all the PVC and either clean it up or replace it. It just depends on how bad it's clogged up. If it's not clogged up bad, then you very likely can just push the gunk through, run some water through it, and clear it out. But if it's in there bad, then, then you might have to just go ahead and replace the, the PVC or the drain line, however they have your system set up. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick overview of what you could do if you have water leaking from the bottom of your furnace and why it's leaking and how you can go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.